I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV Travel Quest. Hi, this is Rob from RV Travel Quest. Today, we're visiting an alpaca farm. So, if you see behind me, uh, we're going to go get more information. But we're in Central Oregon. These guys have got at least 100 alpacas here. And we'll find out more about them. So this is Scott Miller from Crescent Moon Ranch Alpacas and Alpaca Boutique in yep. Terrebonne, Oregon, Central yep. Oregon. Central Oregon. And this has uh, been a lot of fun because uh, he brought us inside and we get to see your, these are your male breeders over here. Let me kind of give everybody a quick look where we're at. Yeah, these are what's called herd sires in the alpaca world. So these are the guys that uh, continue the legacy for us. Uh, you know, and uh, then we eventually produce sons from them, and yeah. those guys go on to carry on the torch. Yes, but, uh, they're these very are our, important our folks. breeders. And you have how many uh, alpacas here? Uh, 150 to 170 alpacas here. Wow. And he's actually only been out here on the main Highway 97 for about a year and a half. Yes. And uh, and growing, I've noticed he's putting in more and more fencing. So. How big are you herd are you gonna try to get up to? Well, we're we're not gonna grow a whole lot more. We uh, we've always been a family business. We've been doing this since 1996, and we were up to 500 alpacas, or maybe even more than that at one point. And and uh, while it was wonderful, it was still a lot of work. And uh, so we we think this is just a nice size Good for size, us. It yeah. achieves all of our means and ends. And. Uh, so we'll probably stay right in the 150 to 170 range. Yeah. Now, on the premises also you have a store. We do. We and, have an uh, alpaca boutique. And yeah. you've got clothing and all kinds of things that are made from the wool. Yeah, we have uh, everything from the raw fiber for folks that like to spin all the way up to a full-fledged coat if you want to own uh, an alpaca coat. We have yarns and Slippers, gloves, mittens, socks, and just it goes on and on. Blankets. Yeah, uh, it was an amazing yeah. store. So we'll take everybody through it, I promise. Yeah. So yeah, pretty neat. So we're going to walk around here and give you some shots. We're going to switch over to our other camera. Uh, but we want to make sure you get the interview here with us. Uh, so thanks for your time so much. Thank you. I right. appreciate you stopping by and All hope right. you guys come visit us. Yep. And we'll go look around and show you this place. So we had a really good time at the alpaca farm and we thought we'd take a drive out towards Lake Billy Chinook. We're not quite there yet. We're in a little town called Culver and uh, we stopped here because a lot of farms. You can see the farmland behind us. But I'm going to show you on our other camera how many mountains you can see from this viewpoint. Okay everyone, we are in Culver near Lake Billy Chinook. And I thought I'd identify some of the mountains you can see from here. So what I'm pointing at right now is Mount Hood. And then I got a 
Move you over here to, if I can find it, Mount Jefferson. Okay, so from Mount Jefferson, we're going over to, what's that little one sticking up? Three Finger Jack, right? Three Finger Jack, I believe. All right, so now you should be able to see Black Butte. No, uh, yeah, Black Butte. And then going over to the three sisters. Yep. All right. Three sisters. And then last but not least, Broken Top. And then way back there, it's kind of hard to see. Well, I'm going to go forward here. That's Mount Bachelor. So Sherry and I are up here and just above Lake Billy Chinook and I will show you some close-up pictures of it uh, with the other camera. Uh, this is uh, just out of Culver in Central Oregon. And Culver is just a little city with 1,300 people that live in it. Um, not a whole lot of work there. Used to, uh, sea Swirl used to have build boats out of here. Anyway, if you, um, I'm gonna do a, cl a closer view with the other camera, but just give you a general idea of how high up we are. And you can see all the mountains in the background, which are probably not very good in this camera. But we'll show you around more with the other camera. It is beautiful up here, though. <laughs> it's gorgeous. So this is Lake Billy Chinook. And this is only a, a, one of the fingers of it. It's very big. And it's got a marina, a, a nice park down there, boat launch. There is a marina around the corner. Well, you can kind of see it. Anyway, what's interesting about this reservoir is three rivers feed it. You got the Willamette, which comes from the Sisters area, the Deschutes, and the Crooked River all feed into the same reservoir. And what's really interesting about this, I used to fish this lake, is they have what's called a bull trout, which are as big as a silver salmon. Um, they get up to 13, 15 pounds. Um, I think the one I caught when I was here was about 8 pounds. And uh, anyway, it was really fun to fish for those. Uh, I do catch and release, so hopefully they're still in there. But <laughs> anyway, this place is beautiful. If you have a boat, it's uh, during the summer, there's water skiers everywhere, but it is a very fishable lake. And uh, they have, oh yeah, and uh, they also have what's called the Cove, which rents out houseboats here. And uh, you, it's kind of like Lake Shasta, too. Anyway, uh, you can rent them out for the weekend. And they uh, accommodate quite a few people and have little swim platforms on them. And there's nice little coves all over this place, uh, all over. If you look carefully, you can see one of the other fingers kind of over the other side here. And, it's, and if you look right there, you can see, I'll zoom in. Another finger of this uh, reservoir. And there's another finger to it too. There's like three fingers to this. And uh, each one I believe represents a river that feeds into it. So I believe this particular one we're at is Crooked River. I think the next one over is where the the chutes feeds into it. And then the last finger, which is way actually over here, um, the Willamette from Sisters feeds into it. Hope you enjoyed today's tour of Central Oregon. Got to see uh, alpacas and turbine. Got to see the mountains today. And like Billy Chinook. Like Billy Chinook. So I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'm Rob. I'm Sherry. RV Travel Quest. We'll talk to you later. Bye now. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to discover our other YouTube playlist. RV Travel Buddy, which is tips resources and services, RV Travel Quest, where you can follow Rob and Sherry on their real RV travel experiences, RV Living Mission Series, which teaches people how to prepare to be an RVer in the future, the insane RV 360 videos, 
our amazing RV.TV where amazing stories come from RVers. And last but not least, RV Talk Radio. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.